All right, so this video is all about the pros and cons of making a move here to the city of Marietta, California. So I've lived here in the Valley for over 20 years. I'm gonna give you some perspective on what it's like to actually live here, here in the city. We're gonna go over the good stuff. We're gonna go over the bad stuff. So let's go ahead and get into it. Hey guys, hey again, my name is Justin Short. I am a realtor and team leader with a short real estate team here at Keller Williams here in the city of Temecula in Marietta, California. And like I mentioned, this video was all about the city of Marietta. We're gonna go all about the pros and cons of making a move here to the city of Marietta. Like I mentioned, I've lived here in the Valley for quite a long time. I can give you some perspective on what it's like to actually live here. We'll go over the pros, we're gonna go over the cons, and hopefully you know, it'll be some good information for you if you're thinking about making a move, move here to the city. Um, but before I get into that, you know, do me a favor, if you are liking real estate videos like this, please hit like, please hit subscribe. So obviously it helps me, it helps my channel. We're obviously trying to continue to grow it. So I'd be grateful for that. And then if you guys have any real estate questions, you know, you can reach out anytime. You can feel free, you can call, you can text, you can email me. You're gonna see my information either at the end of the video or you're gonna see it down below. Uh, so you can feel free to reach out anytime. I have people that reach out all the time and happy to answer any questions you may have. And um, of course, if we can help you out with your home search, we'd love to do that. Or at least if I can just point you in the right direction or give you some good advice, you know, happy to do that or give you some perspective on what it's like uh, or may answer any questions you have about, about the area. Um, but we'll go ahead and uh, we'll get into the video here. So uh, we're gonna start with the good stuff. So we're gonna talk, start with the pros and kind of what the good parts about the city and then we'll go about the cons, kind of what the negative parts are about the city. And, and I guess the, before we get it going, you know, I'll give you, kind of give you my disclaimer. I've lived here in the city of Marietta and Temecula, you know, like I mentioned, over 20 years, so a long time. Uh, most of that time has been in the city of Marietta, so I think probably about, ni uh, uh, about nine years in Marietta, a couple years, probably five or six years in the city of Winchester, and then a handful of years in the city of Temecula. So I recently moved like a mile down the street. We moved from Marietta, moved to Temecula. People ask me a lot, you know, which city is better? Honestly, I think they're really exactly the same. Um, like we'll talk about, Marietta is a little bit less expensive, but they, they run together. They're really similar. They both have good school districts. Um, Marietta has a little bit more business, or, sorry, Temecula has a little bit more business, but we'll kind of talk about some of that in the, in the pros and the cons, but they're, they're very, very, very similar. Uh, but you know, having said all that, I, I live here with my family. I have two young kids. We're raising them. They're going to school here. They go to the public school. Uh, this is where I plan to live for a very, very long time. I love living here. I think it's a great area. I think it's a great place to raise a family. And this is where you know, we plan to stay, stay long term. So myself and my wife and, and my family. So uh, I'm going to go over some cons, but again, I think it's a great area, but we're just trying to give some, some different perspective here. So I'll talk about the good stuff. So number one, the biggest pro and the reason that most people make a move here to the city of Marietta is it is affordable compared to most parts of Southern California. Uh, so, so right now, the average sales price for a home in the city of Marietta is right about $750,000. So I mean, it's three quarters of a million dollars. I mean, it's not a, not a cheap home by any means, but compared to other parts of Southern California, like San Diego, LA, Orange County, it's really a steal for what you can get out here. Most of those areas, you can't really find anything for under a million bucks. If you do, you probably live in a crummy area, uh, probably not a super safe area, probably something super old and probably something super small. So w with that, as opposed to here, when you're living, it's definitely the, you know, the suburbia, you know, where it's in the suburbs here in Marietta, um, but you can buy something that's probably, you know, 2,500, 3,000 square feet. It's this big old home. It's relatively new. It's probably built 2,000 and newer. Nice community. It's pretty squeaky, squeaky clean. You can just get so much more for your money. And compared to other parts of Southern California, that is really the biggest draw here. And that's why so many people live here. That's why, you know, the area's grown so much. And there's probably now, you know, 500,000 people between Marietta and the surrounding, you know, cities and kind of what's the, the valley here. So that's definitely going to be number one. Uh, number two, and the second biggest pro about living here in the city of Marietta is the school district. So people love living here because the school district is so highly rated, um, whether that's elementary school, middle schools, or high schools. 
Uh, there's really, really good schools all throughout the valley. I mean, you could see all the scores that are posted up online, but in general, pr pretty much every school has a really good rating. Um, lots of eights and nines and tens out of tens. So that they're all rated really well. They have really good programs. They have really good special ed programs. They have really good extracurricular activities. And that is definitely a, it's definitely a big draw for people. Um, and not, not only that, you know, for I, I for resale, right? If you ever decide to move out of the area or upsize or downsize or you just, you just want to sell your home, right? When you live in an area that has a really good school district, that's definitely a huge plus. That's a really good indicator that your home's going to, you know, hold really good value over time and, and probably go up in value over time uh, since a good school district is going to continue to be a desirable area for people to for people to live. Um, number three um, is just how safe the city is. Uh, so City Marietta is constantly one of the s voted, rated, rated is probably the right word, so constantly rated as one of the safest cities in America and one of the safest cities in the state of California. So they've been anywhere from in the top 10 in the nation to top 20, top 50. I think right now they're somewhere in the top 100, but to be anywhere near the top as far as you know, one of the safest cities throughout the nation is a huge deal. Um, it is a very, very safe area. Um, you know, there, as you're driving through, there is a big police presence. The city of Marietta has their own city city police department. Uh, there's Riverside County sheriffs. Um, they are, there's definitely a presence in town as you drive around. You're gonna see you know, their, their cars and their SUVs cruising around, all their different cruisers. Um, it's definitely a safe area. It's definitely you know, squeaky clean. There isn't a lot of crime, very, very minimal crime and all, all these other types of things. It's just, it's a, it's a good, safe area, which is one of the reasons that we, we like living here. All right, so number four on my list is again about price point and you know home purchasing a home and you know affordability. But like I mentioned, a lot of people when they move here to the area, they ask me about the city of Marietta and they also ask me about the city of Temecula. A um, lot of my clients do end up buying homes in Marietta just for the simple fact that it is significantly less expensive. So on average, it's anywhere from seventy-five thousand to hundred thousand dollars less to buy the same home in the city of Marietta versus Temecula. You know, like I mentioned, you know, they pretty much they run together, right? They're very, very similar cities. Um, they're really they're both that you know that suburb feel. They're both newer. They're both really squeaky clean. They both have good school districts. So a lot of people do look at both. Uh, there, there's pros and cons to, to each, right? There's there's a reason to make the cost a little bit more. There's a little bit more business there, and we'll we'll talk a little bit about that as we talk about some of the cons of, of Marietta, but. In general, I recommend to, pe to most people to look at both. You know, the, unless you're a, a major commuter, um, and that, that's a big thing for you. Um, and we're trying to go south. I, most people, you know, saving some money to live in Marietta is going to be it's, it's going to be a big benefit. All right, so number five on my list is just about how close we are to enjoying all the cool stuff that Southern California has to offer. So like I mentioned, it's significantly less expensive to live here in Marietta compared to other parts of Southern California, uh, but you can live here and still get a chance to experience all the other cool stuff that Southern California has. So you know, the weather is still awesome here, here in the area, uh, but we're, you're gonna be only about 45 minutes to an hour to most of the other parts of Southern California. So that means you're here in Marietta, you're 45 minutes to an hour to get to downtown San Diego, you're 45 minutes to an hour to get out to the beach, you're 45 minutes to an hour to get out to most parts of Orange County, you're 45 minutes an hour, maybe a little bit more, to get out to the desert, you're about an hour, hour and a half to get to, get to most parts of LA, uh, you're a little bit farther for a mountain trip, probably about two and a half, three hours to, to get up to the mountains. But all, all those cool things are super, super accessible, they're not too far away, and they're definitely something you could take advantage of when you're living here in the area. You can take those day trips and get a chance to do that, but you can live in an area that's much more affordable than you know San Diego, LA, Orange County. All right, so number six is the fact that this is a newer community. So again, compared to other, other parts of Southern California, which are older, a lot of those areas were built in the 50s and the 60s or the 70s, you know, if, if you're lucky. Uh, this area, it's really more new construction and it's, an, and it's a newer suburb area. So um, most of these, the houses started being built probably in the mid 90s, 95, 96 is the majority of the communities. And then 
that, that's when most of them started. And then really about 2001, 2002 and newer is probably when about 70, 80% of the town has been constructed. So because of that, they're all really new construction materials, right? So they have newer building codes, they have tile roofs, right? They're on uh, slab foundations, they have newer plumbing, new electrical, etc. So you don't have a lot of those maintenance concerns that you're gonna have in like most parts of LA and San Diego and Orange County. So that, that's a big plus for people when they move out here as well. All right, and then the seventh point on my list is just all about all about the new construction. So because most of Southern California is really so built out, like I mentioned, a lot of older homes, this is one of the few areas where you can actually buy a new construction home in a nice area and have it be relatively affordable. So there's a lot of new construction that is still going on here in Marietta. There's more tracks and more areas that are still being built out. And even if you don't end up buying a brand new home, there's plenty of homes that have been built within the last you know, 10, 12 years, which are pretty much you know, the, the same designs or very, very similar designs and layouts. Um, and they're, they're newer, they're well taken care of, they got all these cool finishes, they're open concept, which is what everyone wants, etc. So I, I think that that's gonna be a big plus for people too, is just all the new construction. All right, so we talked about the good stuff. We're gonna talk about all the cons now. So again, we just wanna give you guys some perspective on what it's like to actually live here. You know, point, point out, you know, not every, not any area is gonna be perfect, right? So there's gonna be good pros and cons to everything. There's gonna be good and bad, uh, but wanna go over the negatives with you guys to make sure, you know, you, you wanna know what they are, so at least you know what you're what you get into. So uh, number one, and with, without a doubt, the biggest complaint that people have about living here, and probably I would say the worst part about living here without a doubt is the heat. I mean, it's a hot area, right? So most of the year we have really nice temperature. You know, we'll be anywhere from mid 60s to mid 70s, probably eight, nine months out of the year. Uh, but on average in the months of October and September, the averages show the average temperature right about 90 degrees or so, but we're gonna get a heat waves that'll take you north of 100 for sure. And, and personally, when I, I was looking up like all these stats about average temperatures, honestly, it seems low to me. You know, someone that lives here, it feels like we have more days over 95 than what they show online, maybe because you just kind of re remember the heat, right? But um, without a doubt, it's a hot area. Um, it is, it gets warm and you gotta be prepared for those heat waves that are gonna come and definitely plenty of days each year. It might be five, six, seven, eight, 10, 12 days a year that are gonna be over 100 degrees. So we'll tap out probably 102, 103, 104 is like super miserable, super, super hot, um, but it, so it definitely can get warm. Um, one caveat to that, I will say what is nice here, even on a heat wave, if we get up to 100 degrees, what is nice is as we get later in the day, we do get a really nice breeze. So by four o'clock, the breeze starts coming in. So that means by that evening, by you know, 5.30, 6, 6.30, the heat really gets taken off and, and it starts feeling really nice outside. So it might be 100 in the middle of the day, but by the time six o'clock rolls around, it might get down to 72, 73, 74 degrees. So it's super comfortable. Um, and, and, and keep in mind, you know, when we live here, you know, everyone has air conditioning. I do not know any house. I've never sold a house without air conditioning here locally. Every house is going to have air conditioning. Um, so, you know, you just stay inside when it's, when it's miserable, out, miser miserable out, you just stay inside, you blast the AC, you know, stay comfortable. Um, but just something to know when, when you are thinking about living here is it's, it's going to get hot for sure. Um, so that's definitely the worst. Uh, the sec con number two, so I'd say the second worst part about living here for most people is gonna be the commute. So in this area, you know, most people do not work locally. So most people that live here in Marietta make a commute out to San Diego, LA, or Orange County for work. And so if you're gonna have to make the commute, if you're gonna have to do it five days a week, it's gonna be a grind. Um, there's a lot of traffic on the freeway. You know, you might look at something on a map and it's only 30 miles or so, but it might take you an hour to make that trip, right? So especially at rush hour, if you're gonna commute, you know, that typical morning and evening commute, it's gonna back up. It's gonna be a lot of cars on the freeway. It gets worse every year for sure. And that, that's something that you know, clients of mine are always complaining about just how, how bad the commute is. So if you have to make that commute, it's gonna be tough. People do it all the time. Um, my parents did it, you know, as I was growing up, I have plenty of friends that do it. So it's, it's definitely doable. It's just not super enjoyable, but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Uh, and now keep in mind too, like as we're in this, you know, this post COVID world, right? So many more people are working from home. And if that is the case, if you are able to work from home, that takes away, 
you know, one of the biggest pain points of living here. So if you no longer have to make the commute, that makes living in Murrieta much more palatable, right? Much more desirable. Um, or even if you do like a hybrid schedule where you only have to commute one, two, or three days a week, that's way better than having to do it five days a week. So just something to keep in mind where there are not a ton of big businesses locally. So because of that, you know, you're, most people make that commute. All right, so con number three that's on my list is about our location. And although I talked before how we are close to all the cool stuff that Southern California offers, and that is true, we are, but we are near a lot, but we're really not next to anything. So that, that is a con for people, especially, you know, for me, I got young kids, right? We have busy lives, we're doing sports, and we're pretty tied up all the time, right? So I have, I have a full schedule, but especially if I have a lot of clients that are maybe older or younger, right? So maybe don't have the same uh, you know, con time constraints that I have with such a full schedule and they have a little more flexibility. Sometimes it can really irritate them that, hey, yes, we're in Southern California, but anytime I wanna make a trip out to the city or go to some high rated restaurant or go to the beach, it's gonna cost me an hour to sit in the car each way, right? So that definitely can be seen as a con for people. The trade-off of course is the affordability. That's why we are more affordable than San Diego but um, you know you got to know we're we're near a lot but not right next to anything so you got to keep in mind where that location is and make sure okay if you're gonna take trips out to the beach you know three four times a week you know that, that might start to wear on you so number four on my list is there the fact that there are only a handful of restaurants within the city of Murrieta to choose from so there's a ton of houses um, I think the overall population now is over I don't know over a hundred thousand over hundred and fifteen thousand or so I think the last time I ran all the numbers so there's a ton of houses and a ton of people live in the city of Marietta but there's only a handful of restaurants and a lot of them are kind of your typical chain restaurants that that are throughout the nation so you have you know your Chili's and Applebee's and and all the you know Panera breads and all, all these different chain restaurants that are out there um, but Marietta doesn't have a ton of privately owned restaurant businesses there's probably uh, probably less than 10 so just just not very many right um, and, and as far as sit-down restaurants only a handful of them are really like true sit, sit down restaurants right so because of that a lot of people, when you live in Marietta, you end up making the trip to the city of Temecula for a lot of your day-to-day -day stuff. So Marietta is big. Like I said, 100,000 people live there. There's plenty of you know, there's shopping and grocery stores and all that type of stuff. But to go to like a little bit nicer, like date night restaurants, most of the time you're going to make the trip to Temecula. So it's not terribly far, you know, it's probably 10, 15 minutes down the road, depending where you're, where you live. So it's not like that big of a deal. It's not a major inconvenience, but uh, that is, that is one of the reasons that Temecula is more expensive, right? Because it has more business. It has more shopping. The city of Temecula has a big mall. The city of Temecula has like a downtown old, or old town area with tons of different restaurants and trendy and all you know, gastro pubs and all that type of stuff. City of Temecula has the wineries, you know, there's over 50 wineries out there, right? Uh, Marietta doesn't really have any of that. They just kind of have a handful of, of chain restaurants, right? So that's one of the reasons that Temecula is, it's gonna be a little bit more expensive. All right, so number five on my list of cons is all about shopping. So, um, like I mentioned, Marietta has a ton of shopping. They have a ton of grocery stores. They have a ton of you know big box stores and WalMarts and Costco and uh, you know Lowe's and Home Depot and all the, all the big box stores are going to be there, right? However, there are not very many you know small little mom and pop shops. So again, most people end up making the trip to Temecula for a lot of that stuff, right? A lot of that's down like the old town area, more of the trendy areas, right? People are kind of you know, walking around and be able to, to shop at some of those. Or for even more, they end up making the trip down to San Diego or Orange County, you know, to have a little bit more exposure to that stuff. So that, that can be that can be a con for people. It's just there's not a ton of shopping besides the typical big box stuff. And then number six is about home prices. So although you know this area is less expensive than many parts of Southern California, still your average home price is right about $750,000. So if you compare that to the rest of the United States and the average home in the US, that's right about $350,000. So the average home in Murrieta is still about double the price point compared to the nationwide average. So that, that becomes a big thing when you guys are relocating from other states, right? So you gotta think about, hey, if you're living at a home now that is you bought for $300,000, 
$200,000 and you're going to buy a home now for $700,000, that's a big price point. So you got to be prepared for you know, what that mortgage payment's going to be, you know, what that quality of life is going to be after you buy. you got to make sure it's going to be, be affordable for you. So obviously it's all relative. I have a lot of clients that when they move here, they're moving from other more expensive areas. So they're coming down from the Bay Area in San Francisco. So 700 grand seems like a steal, right? Um, or they're coming down from Seattle or some other tech hub or high price point or you know New York or wherever, and they're coming out here and for under a million dollars, they feel like they can live like a king, right? Um, that is one of the reasons why so many people move here from San Diego, LA, Orange County, because they're already used to those high prices Places, right you can't get anything for under a million bucks down there you can come out here for a million bucks and have your your choice of the litter really you can have a beautiful new home that's very nice and modern and lots of space etc et so number seven on my list is tract homes so a uh, one complaint that people do give me a lot when they come to visit the area especially when they're from other parts of the country especially like from the east coast it's, it's a big one but when they come out here you know really most of the area is kind of your typical cookie cutter tract homes so i would say probably 85 probably 80 85 percent of the city of marietta it was bought up by different big builders where they went in they bought a you know, 20 acres, they subdivided, built, you know, 1,000, 2,000 houses and made them all kind of similar. So a lot of stucco boxes, you know, a lot of tract homes were, you know, a lot of cul-de-sacs, a lot of homes where you're driving down the street. Most homes look similar. Some might be bigger and smaller and different shades of brown, that type of stuff, but a lot of similar, similar looks. So uh, for, for me, again, I've lived in the area a long time, not something that typically bothers me personally, but it is a complaint that I hear from clients, you know, when they, they might be wish that their home maybe had a little bit more character or their neighborhood had a little bit more character and different traits and things like that, but just not something we see a ton of here in the area. With that said, there are, uh, you know, definitely, you know, 15% of the houses are going to be, you know, more of your custom builds and, um, you know, owner builder situations. And so you might have some different flavors and some different aesthetics and different designs. So it's not to say that all homes are exactly the same, but just the majority are going to be pretty dang similar. All right, so number eight on my list of cons and my last con for the city of Marietta is just all about first time home buyers. So this is a really hard market for a first time home buyer to buy a home in. And really that that is just because of the price point, right? So like I mentioned, the average price home in Marietta is about $750,000. So if you're, if, you're, you know, if you're buying your first home, it, it's the hardest thing to do is one, you know, save up your down payment. So most people have to save up some type of a chunk of down for down payment. So whether that's 10,000, 15,000, 20,000, $25,000, right? That's a lot of money for someone to save up to use as a down payment that takes a long time it, for most people it's going to take years to happen right it takes a lot of uh, effort and time and and saving and cut back and all that type of stuff so that's a, that's a really hard goal for most people to accomplish and you know so, so because of that that that's when you're a first-time buyer and you've taken all that time to save up your down to when you use that as a down payment to go but sometimes it's not even enough to buy that $700,000 home. And if it is, you know, you're left over with this big old mortgage payment. So um, as a first time buyer, it can be really difficult to break into this market because of the price point. A lot of people do tend to be kind of your trade up buyers or your second or third home buyers where they bought a home, a small home, and then they sold and bought a little bit bigger one and sold and bought a little bit bigger one. And now they're buying in the Temecula Marietta area. Um, so that, that's probably the most common thing that we see. But um, when, you know, when you're a first time home buyer and really the most inexpensive homes that we're gonna see today, I mean, it's 2024, you know, to find a home under $550,000 is pretty much impossible, at least a single family home, you know, you'll see some condos and townhomes that, that fit that or a little bit lower price point, but anything less is gonna be really, really slim pickings. So there's really not much out there. It can be tough to, it can be tough to break into. So as a first time home buyer, it, it can be a really tough market to get into. So um, anyways, I hope that's good information for you guys. Try to give you some good, try to give you some bad. Th those are all real things on what it's like to actually live here. Like I said, I've lived here in a long time. Hopefully it's good perspective. If you have any questions, you can feel free to reach out. Do me a favor, please hit like, please hit subscribe. Feel free, you can call, you can text, you can email me, and uh, hopefully talk to you soon. Thanks.